uh, advocates is one modest, most of the uh, you know expertise they have and they can make everything possible yeah Hey everyone, I'm back with at another motivational tale. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Today we have Mr. Satyabrat Barik, a senior test engineer who successfully completed the Selenium certification training course with Edureka. Let's dwell into his journey in this video. Before we begin, Mr. Satyabrat, why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself? Uh, thank you, Tilstesh, for giving me this opportunity and inviting me to your uh, interview. So my name is Satyabrat Barik and I am working as a senior QA engineer for last seven years. Okay, thank you so much yeah, for the introduction. So how did you come to know about Edureka? Yeah, well, uh, that I come uh, came to know from one of my friends and he suggested me that uh, Edureka is one of the most uh, renewed uh, uh, educational institution where I can get all those knowledge which I require. So on that way, I convinced myself and I come for the Edureka and enrolled myself for in the course of Selenium Automation. So okay. that I came to know. Yeah. Okay. I'm really great to know that. So what motivated mm -hmm. you to take this particular course, like Selenium course? Uh, yeah. The thing is that, you no. Know, so initially I was working as a, a manual test engineer, yes. but later part, I felt that, you no, know, my my organizations ex expect me to go for the automation uh, course because nowadays uh, everything is you know, shifting from manual to automations and there is a huge demand in automation test, test engineer. Yes. So feeling that kind of a heat and secure my, my job and uh, for the growth, uh, I went for uh, Edureka to get enrolled myself. So that's the thing. Okay, yeah. okay, that's great. Uh, in your opinion, what are the most uh, noticeable aspects of Eureka? Yeah, the uh, most aspect that the most important thing is like, you know, uh, the faculty or whatever the faculties they are, they are very well knowledge and they know what students are of required of. Okay, mm -hmm. And due to that reasons, they make everybody compatible and uh, you know, make their conceptual clarity conceptual things very strong so they will not find that kind of a difficulties they can work their work as easily so as they are working earlier uh, whatever expertise they had so that kind of confidence i got it from edureka so on that way so i know that uh, 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 edureka is one of most of the uh, you know expertise they have and they can make everything possible yeah yes i'm, I'm really glad to know that so how have you applied the skills acquired from these courses in your current position? Uh, yeah, uh, as I earlier I was uh, speaking like, no, uh, that uh, only because of this, that uh, the, the, the my current position was required me to change my skill set from manual to automation. Due to that, that reasons I came here. Okay. And after learning all those things, so I got to know that it is not only required that you need to get that that kind of knowledge but that practical knowledge is also that much important okay uh, yes. so that kind of practical aspect so practical knowledge i got it from here i got ample of time because it was a uh, weekend base okay so it was for three hours after that uh, i used all those uh, times say in that big days for practicing and whatever doubts i had i get uh, got it clarified from the faculty as well so that kind of thing here due to that practical knowledge and that framework knowledge is very important that whatever knowledge we're getting is fine but that framework knowledge will come unless and until you are not practical enough okay so that due to that reasons i can justify my work right now that whatever work is assigned to me i can do it very easily so that's the good thing that i got it to whatever i require yeah, I'm, I'm glad to know that we could deliver the requirement. Yeah, so yes, in today's yes. context, uh, how crucial is to stay updated or informed? Yeah, obviously, because, you know, every time the market is changing. So nowadays, suppose it was manual, then it come to automation. And the automation also, various kinds of tools are available also. Okay, yeah. so synonym nowadays synonym is very useful right now. Okay, so who knows that in the later part, some other applications or other tool will come. So obviously, if not to keep uh, with that uh, space uh, yourself, so obviously you will be out of that uh, uh, that you know that race. Okay. Mm. So and also you will be you know at at sometimes you will be most uh, uh, what it is called uh, 
uh, that is you know liability for that company also yeah. because that company is needed uh, that kind of skill set and you don't have that so obviously whatever skill set it's required as for the timing you have to make yourself update so that is the you know correct requirement so it's very uh, basics to keep uh, updated yourself uh so i completely agree with you so also i want to know from your perspective what challenges could individual face in their jobs if they are not keeping themselves up to date uh the main basic thing that na so you are hired or you are employee of the company that because you are you have to do certain task okay so whenever you don't that don't know that kind of uh, knowledge you have or don't do that kind of skill you don't have obviously you are going to depend on, upon others so it is not possible now everybody will come to you and tell you that what is your, what you should do and what you should not do right so for that obviously you know whatever knowledge is required you need to get it know from youtube youtube are very sense are available if you found a trade that you are capable of uh, learning everything from there or you think that uh, uh, institution like uh, edubeka can give you that kind of confidence or skill set they can so so depend upon the individual okay they can get it from there that is my uh, thinking yeah thinking process so whatever you are uh, thinking for they to what you you are uh, know yourself that to where you are strong where you weak to uh, how much grasping power you have yeah. depending upon that you can go for yeah true, that's, true. That's, yes yeah. uh, along with this information can you share one of the memorable incidents from your time at edureka uh okay. is that you no know, the course was for uh, one and a half uh, month mm-hmm. so in the last session uh, that was very emotional session you know that though it was a virtual one however okay. in okay. that 3 uh, hours per day i feel it becomes like 36 to 40 hours okay, okay. so in there you, you are coming across all your friend circles right in, yes uh, yes so you know you are asking some questions getting from the faculty as well as your uh, teammates also okay so in that way we uh, we made some certain kind of relationship so that moment was very uh, emotional and memorable for us that yeah whatever the time we spent that was a quality time and yeah. we had a good understanding with each other and with faculty also sometimes it happens that you no know, uh, the, the faculty get uh, you know angered well it happens you know sometimes yeah. because you know a little bit we understand each other's uh, yes. that too when and how we should to ask questions because sometimes yes. someone is uh, uh, teaching you in between you should not ask right so that yes. is correct yes. so on that on that, on that day it was very emotional for us uh, we don't want to you know depart with each other so that's the thing and yeah the, everything was uh, nice for us and uh, every whether t- technical team non technical team whatever supports we required we got it uh, from edureka being non technical technical yes. everywhere got it so that's okay. a nice thing hmm? if i'm not wrong like it's a back to college days feeling yeah 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 because you know after uh, so many years you are coming back to your school days and finding the same situation where yes. you were before right yes. yeah, good good every yeah, yeah, time good to be kid eh? yes yes it is very difficult to be kid <laughs> yeah yes uh, so in the end do you have any advice for our audience yeah uh, the advice is the like no so if you are working somewhere and the company demands for you to be you know uh, keep inform yourself with the current markets current scenario for what the current uh, skill set is required mm-hmm. so every time you should keep yourself informed it's not like that you i got got enrolled for uh, uh cdm course after yeah. some days some other course so uh, maybe edureka or any other uh, different kind of institutions are there where do you want but, but, but from my uh, suggestion that whatever experience i had so it is the best uh, education institutions where i got it now uh, so it should be fine if nice for everybody if you have to come to edubeka and uh, get their uh, skill set updated uh, that's from myself yes yes that is uh, really uh, informative and uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us So this concludes another enlightening episode, and I want to express my appreciation to our guests for generously sharing their wisdom with us. And thank you all for joining us today. And once again, thank you so much, Satya Brat. Thank you, thank you once again, Tulsi. Bye. And next time I will come up with one more 
inspiring story until then stay motivated keep learning with edureka thank you